Hello, everybody. This is Martin Ramirez um, from MI5. MI5 stands for Millionaire in Five Years or Less, in case you guys are new to my channel. Um, I was able to become a millionaire in a three-year period of time. I'm here to help you guys become a millionaire in at least five years. You don't have to take five years. You can do it in less. Now, a lot of these stock market YouTube channels tell you, you know, how you can start creating wealth, you know, 10 years down the line, start start making money, your stocks, your stock investments will start paying off and all this what if you want to make money now? What if you don't have 10 years? I mean, you might, depending on how old you are, but if you're an older person, you might not live to see 10 years from now. I mean, I mean, I might not either. I mean, we, we don't know how long we're going to live. Anything could happen. But anyway, not to put a negative damper on things, but uh, what if you want to start making money now and, and you want to become a millionaire in a five-year period of time, which is possible, I'm living proof. I used to just be a grocery store deli clerk, not making very much money, a little bit over 20 grand a year at that job. And I was able to turn that all around. And I'm not going to give you 10 year advice, but I am creating, I'm still in the process of creating a course that's going to teach you guys step by step exactly what to do. There's no guessing, no guesswork. Um, I tell you everything exactly what you need to do. What I did. Now, a lot of people don't want to do what I did because it does involve some hard work. And if you're scared of working a lot, then you might not even want to get involved with it. But I'll be talking more about it in the future. And uh, I'm going to give you a few free tips of what you can do to start today. It will not cost you any money. Um, first of all, in order to become a millionaire, you're obviously not making enough money. You're going to need to increase your income. And you don't have to do anything extravagant. First thing you can do um, is try to get some extra hours of work. You know, start doing a little bit of overtime. And if you don't have a job, then what are you doing? You need to go get one ASAP because you're not going to get rich sitting on your butt. You cannot create additional streams of income when you have no base income, which would be your job, unless you're just sitting on a you know, boatload of cash for some reason. If that's the case, then I don't know. But um, yeah, go get some extra hours. If you're wasting money, stop. Look at your budgeting or create a budget if you don't have one and start tracking your expenses. Look at what you're spending money on and find out where you're throwing useless amount of money. If, you, if you're looking through your bank statements and you see the same, you see Starbucks, 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 and is it really adding up or whatever? I don't know what you guys splurge on. It could be in your, in your Netflix, Hulu, whatever the kind of subscriptions you guys might have. Um, cut back on stuff you don't need. Stop buying excessively expensive phones when you're not rich. People want to have a thousand dollar phone and they and they're broke. I'm like, that's why you're broke and you're gonna stay that way because you're focusing more on this phony status. I mean, everybody knows you have no money, but you got the latest, greatest phone. That just makes you look stupid. You look like an idiot. And if you're one of the people, yes, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm not gonna sugarcoat this for you guys. I'm gonna call you out when you do dumb stuff. I do that with my friends. I think a friend should call another friend out when they're doing something stupid and obnoxious or reckless or careless. And finances are no different. I mean, they you can ruin your life with bad finance. And you can definitely improve it with good financial uh, habits. So quit messing around with the latest, greatest phones. Get a, a decent smartphone that works cost you know 30 or 40 dollars a month for your your payment plan or whatever it is uh try to be reasonable okay um i would say stop dining out but sometimes dining out is cheaper than dining in depending upon where you go uh i mean you can go to jack and the box get two tacos for like a dollar 29 and try making them at home and see how much that costs you just try to buy a package of ground beef and a pack of cheese. The cheese costs more than the ground beef a lot of times. 
So you have to, um, you got to really look around and find out what's best for you. Um, if you have a job and you cannot get extra hours at that particular job, then you need to find a side hustle or an extra job. Side hustle will be easier. I'm talking about gig economy jobs. I'm talking Instacart, which is a shopping gig. Uh, Postmates, Grubhub, DoorDash, things like that. They're flexible and you can work, at least currently that I know of, you can work at your own pace whenever you log into the app. You don't have to be at a physical location all day long. Drive all the way across town and tie yourself up in there. You can work a couple hours or whatever, and then you, if you had to pick your kids up from school or whatever you got to do, you can go do that and then take, take them home, whatever, and then continue to do what you need to do. You can go home and take a nap, you know, if you're tired, and finish working when you get up and, and put in the work. I don't want to see you guys stopping at 6 p.m. and saying, oh, too tired, I'm done. No, you need to really, really grind it out. And I'll talk about more of this in my course. Uh, I'm telling you, if you guys put in a few years of hard work now, you will be able to reap the benefits of that and live a comfortable life while every, all the rest of your friends, family members, or whatever, are stuck working at dead-end jobs, grinding day and night because they didn't do what you did. And you guys, the ones watching, are going to make a difference in your own lives and in your children's lives and so on. Because you're going to learn that um, some hard work pays off. They say work smarter, not harder. But it's smarter to work a few years while you're young. I mean, really put it to the grindstone instead of waiting till you're working at a grocery store when you're like 70 or 80 years old. I've seen the poor little old maintenance guys that are like 80 that couldn't afford to retire and they're still there mopping floors and doing all that crap and they're hunched over. They just look like they don't feel good and they probably don't. And I don't blame them. I wouldn't either if I had to be working when I was like 70 or 80. Already, like in my 40s, I got problems. So (laughs) I couldn't imagine... Having work, a lot of people die and never retire, or they die right at retirement because they work such a stressful job, and stress will kill you. Sustained periods of stress can and will kill you because it causes lots of different issues for your body, and it will break your heart, your brain, all that stuff down, cause strokes, heart attacks, and so on, and you will die. And to die at work at 80 is just terrible. It's the ultimate fail. One said, if you are born poor, that's not your fault. But if you die poor, then you need to own up to it at that point. You should not die poor just because you were born poor. I want to call myself poor. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a state of mind. I mean, it's relative, I guess. What one considers poor, another might consider, you know, you're doing pretty good compared to me. But I would say poorish. I was struggling. I was not living on the streets or anything, thank God. But I was struggling to make ends meet. Uh, Not even paycheck to paycheck. I had to take payday loans many times just to pay any kind of bills that came up. And it was very, very stressful. I live probably most of my life like that and I don't want to I, I didn't want to do it anymore I finally said one day you know what this is it I'm not doing this anymore I'm going to change things and I shifted my mindset you know started thinking differently because I always hated rich people because you know they had money and I didn't and I said you know what why can't I join them why can't I be you know and I started really thinking about it and I'm like you know what I, I can do this and I will do it. And I did. And you guys can do the same thing. Now, if you're watching this video, your goal is not to be rich, not to be a millionaire. That's fine. I mean, if you just want to um, live a more comfortable lifestyle and not have to be so stressed out all the time, you can do that. With my program, it'll show you how. And where you got a nice cushion you can sit on. And like say your AC goes out 
you know, and has to be repaired, going to cost $2,000 to fix in the middle of summer, you're like, hmm, here you go. I got it. Instead of, oh, no, how am I going to get the money? I'm going to go the whole summer with no AC, which I have done in the past. There's many years when my AC broke, I couldn't afford to fix it. So I had to go the whole <laughs> whole summer long with no AC. And it's hot where I live. We're talking summer 120 degree temperatures, you know. And it was terrible. Now, thank God that when the bills come up, I can pay them. And I don't lose sleep at night over it either because, man, I just... I was just so stressed, so stressed out. And I wanted to end all that. Like I said, if you guys don't want to become a millionaire, that's fine. But I'll show you how to live a much, much more comfortable life. And people say money isn't everything. The ones who say that don't have any money. Because once you do, you realize money is everything. I don't know why people say it's not. If you don't have money, you don't have a damn thing. I'm sorry. If you have some kind of a medical emergency, you cannot afford to pay for yourself to whatever kind of operation, whatever, you're going to die. Because this modern healthcare system doesn't care. <laughs> That's why people have to raise these GoFundMe things when something serious happens to them because they can't afford to pay the medical bill. They're, they're freaking expensive. I, I just went for a lab test to get some blood work. It's like three grand. Don't ask me why. I don't have insurance because I'm considered self-employed. But uh, health insurance... But, uh, yeah, it's a lot of money. I, I've been spending a lot of money on, you know, a lot of things. Once you get to be 40, man, you got to really watch your health. You really do. I've been doing everything I can to make sure I'm getting healthier, stay healthy. You know, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If you guys don't know what that means, well, go look it up. But anyways, start implementing some of these things today. Uh... Cut your spending a little bit on stuff you don't need. I'm not saying to go about everything. Uh, try to get some more hours in. See if you can get a gig economy job. Start signing up now because it takes a while to get approved. Um, that's probably my best recommendation. Just just to get started, okay? Because everybody says, oh, you know, I don't have enough money. To, you know, I don't have any money. How do I get in the stock market? I have no money to invest. I'm like, then you need to create additional income to be able to get that. That's what I did. I couldn't do it when I was living paycheck to paycheck. I had no extra money. I had no money at all. Not really. To just barely pay the bills and then sometimes not even then. So I'm going to do more on this series. If you guys want to learn more, let me know in the comment section below. I'm definitely going to be creating that course. But I had to see that, you know, there's people interested in it. And I think you will be. It's gonna, Like I said, it's going to be a step-by-step -step guide. I'll take you 100% through it. I'll... I'm going to speak in layman's terms, you know. I'm not going to use fancy jargon when it comes to stock market talk and anything like that. I'll show you guys a very, very simple plan. Uh, like I said, re really simple. Uh, I think you guys will really find it extremely beneficial if you follow it. I can tell you all these things. 95% of you are not going to do a, one thing I just said. You're not. You're going to go finish watching this video. You're going to go sit back and watch TV or start playing video games. Some of you are going to be drinking, smoking weed, whatever. And you're like, oh, because you're stoned and drunk at the moment. So, you know, you're not worried about anything. But guess what? You may not be worried right now, but tomorrow those same problems are going to be there. And the next day and the next day and the next day after that and the next year to come it's always going to be a problem for you so don't think that you can just smoke and drink it away <laughs> it's, it's not going to go away especially if you mess with the irs so anyway make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video